Greetings and salutations. In this video, I'm going to help you fix an Amazon Fire tablet that has no sound. You have no audio, and it could be multiple reasons, and it doesn't matter what version of the Fire that you have. This particular one is an HD10, but you can have a different version. All right, first things first, the obvious is make sure that you have the volume up, and you've tried that, and you didn't accidentally turn it down. On most fires, it's going to be on the left here, and make sure you click up as you can see there I got as far up as possible all right next thing I want you to do is take off of a if you got like a protection case if you have it like in a case take that off all right remove any USBs like if you got something in a USB port or a head jack then try and see if your volume works all right next thing what I want you to do is I want you to get uh, headphones like this and go ahead and test it out and see with headphones if you play a YouTube video or something and then see if you can hear. If you do, that's a good that's a good thing. That means it's not a hardware issue. It could be it could be a speaker issue, which is a hardware issue, but uh, most likely not. So see if you have sound. So if it's an emergency situation, you could use it like this permanently with headphones um, until the life of the of the tablet. Next thing you could do is sometimes the speakers are right up beside the audio jack or the uh, headphones jack. Go ahead and remove the headphones jack. Play a YouTube video while you're doing this or something with sound and remove the headphones jack and put it in, toggle it, spin it around and put it in and out of that headphone jack a few times. A lot of times the headphone jack will actually short the speaker. And that actually happens a lot of times with tablets. All right. If you've tried that, next thing what I want you to do is to do a hard restart. To do that, what you want to do is you want to hold down the power button for about 40 seconds to a minute. And you don't let go. And then it's going to completely power down and then restart. And what that's going to do is that is going to shut down any apps that may be interfering with the sound for whatever reason. All right, and so that's very important that um, that that's not doing that. All right, next thing what I want you to do is I want you to go to settings, which is the little gear shift here. Click on settings. All right, from settings, what I want you to do is go to sound, which is right there. Make sure that Do Not Disturb is on. If that's on, that could be hurting your um, that could be hurting your sound. Check all your volume levels. All right. Make sure these are all up because if they're not, they might be all the way down. That might be causing your issue. All right. Next thing that could be doing doing it is an app that you recently installed or you're recently using. So back in settings. Go to apps and notifications. These are your recent apps. And if you think that there's one that's causing the issue, let's say you you just recently installed an app. Uh, go ahead and go to it. Let's say I go to Messenger. And what I want you to do is force stop it. All right. Force stop it. Restart your tablet. Then come back to this screen and then restart it. All right. If you think that that's the culprit, go ahead and uninstall it. And it might be a bad app. And then you could always re reinstall it and try it again. But a lot of times that will fix the issue. Next thing I want you to do in settings is to do a software update. And what you want to do is you're going to go to device options, which is down here. And then what you're going to do is click system updates. And that can take a few minutes. And a lot of times that right there will fix the issue. All right, next thing I want you to do is clear the cache on settings. So in order to do that, what you're going to do is go back to apps and notifications and see all 78 apps. These are all your apps that's installed. And while you're here, you can clean it out. If you see something that you don't like or you haven't used in years, go ahead and hold it down. And then um, what you can do is uninstall it. All right, because that might be an issue. All right, so go ahead and go to settings, which is way down here. All right, settings. And then from what I want you to do with settings, 
I want you to, uh, where is it? There's notifications. Go to storage. And I want you to clear storage and clear cache. Cache is like your um, short-term memory. All right. And then restart it and then see if that fixes the issue. A lot of times that will fix the issue. Now, last but not least, if you've tried all that, you can do an old, good old factory restart on it. And it's going to put it back to like it was brand new out of the box. Now, the bad thing about it is it'll delete all your pictures or your videos. But being that you can still operate on it, go ahead and change, uh, download all your stuff and put it on a computer or laptop. Yes, it will be a nuisance to reinstall your good apps and all that. But it's, it's worth it. And you'll find that that probably will fix the problem. And in order to do that, just go to settings. And then what you want to do is go back to device options down here. And then a reset to factory default. Remove all personal data. That will take 30 minutes. You have to have it plugged into the wall. And it's got to have at least 50% of battery power on it. All right, if any of those helped, put in the comment section which one helped. That way people can know what they need to do first. And make sure you subscribe.